How's it going guys? My name's Carl Reynolds. I'm an engineering student here in DIT Kevin Street. Uh, I'm here today to show you a small experiment uh, that we're going to carry out um, called the electromagnet. Uh, why we show us this experiment? Uh, it's simple, it's fun and it can be made at home under parental supervision at any stage out of whole household items. Why this uh, experiment is going to be relevant is electromagnets are used every day throughout industry for various different reasons and we'll show, show you a few of them over the course of the video. My name is Stephen Brown, I'm an engineering student at DIT Kevin Street. Before I explain the equipment in our experiment, I'll talk about the safety. There's only uh, one or two small houses involved in our experiment and that is that the battery might just heat up. So to avoid this hazard, I use diamond gloves. This will avoid any potential hazards that might occur. Now I explain the equipment involved in our experiment. Right, so this is copper wire. Uh, this is used in all electrical service and can be found uh, in your garage or in your parents' toolbox. We're going to use paper clips as well. If you can't put any in your home, you can buy them in every uh, station store. We're also going to use some electrical tape, a nail, and a double A battery. Uh, the electrical tape is going to be used to attach the copper wire uh, to your battery. Hey guys, my name is Peter Rugby. So I'm an engineering student in DIT chemistry. So what I'm here to do, I'm going to go through some life theory about electromagnets in itself. So what I have behind me is a figure of what we intend to do. So we're going to have a battery source, we're going to have a nail, we're going to have, gonna, we're gonna have a, a copper coil, as Stephen previously described to you a few seconds ago. So the theory of this is that the battery source is going to be a power source. The power source is going to shoot the current through the copper coil, which is going to magnetise our nail, as you can clearly see from the figure behind me. So what's that? That's basically going to create an EMF, which is like a, a magnetic field around the nail, which is going to magnetise the nail in itself. So that the nail itself is going to be a magnet leading from the north to the south. So the nail is what we're going to be basically using to pick up the paper clips. So as you can see here, which is like an easier, an easier diagram. So you have the battery source, you have your nail, and you have a couple coil. Well, we have no paper clips here, so you can't really see that. So we're actually going to physically do the assignment. So we can actually see how it works in person. First things first, so what we're going to do in here, we're going to make sure your gloves are on to kind of protect you from any, any hazards that you could potentially encounter in the, in the experiment itself. So what Comex is basically going to do now with the nail, he's going to wrap the copper coil around the nail, so, so that, that's basically going to create a suitable environment for current to kind of go through the nail, go through the, cur go through, go through the coil itself, to create an EMF. Electromagnetic forces. <laughs> How's it going again, guys? Uh, right, so when you wrap the copper wire around the solenoid, which is a nail in this case, uh, it should look something similar to that. So, what we're going to do now is show you how to attach the battery to it. So, I'm going to get the battery, and on the negative end, I'm going to, Peter's going to take the, the copper wire to it. This is just to keep it in place, so it makes it easier for showing how it works. Um, it does. That's the only function of the tape. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you should end up with. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Niles James. I'm Stephen Brown, and we're going to put our experiment into practice here and show you guys the electric magnet that we made. Warning: Please wear safety gloves when carrying out this experiment. Now I'm going to demonstrate how the experiment works. So, I connect the copper coil to the positive side of the battery. This creates a full circuit and allows the current to run through the copper coil and create a magnetic field. The magnetic field runs from, positive, from north to south and allows the nail to become magnetic. When I connect the copper coil, it picks up paper clips. And uh, this shows the theory of electromagnets. And now, I, when I disconnect the copper coil, the magnets fall off, proving that it's electromagnetic. Another variation of our experiment could be to use a bigger battery, uh, i.e. a 9 volt battery instead of a 1.5 double A battery. Um, the second variation could be to use a bigger nail or even to increase the amount of copper coils wrapped around the nail which would increase the magnetism of the experiment. I'm just going to run through a brief of the use of electromagnets in the world today. So first is cranes and scrapyards.
which are used in hospitals for uh, to conduct scans. Amplifiers, which are used in musical equipment. And then electricity circuitry, which is used in everyday. Hey guys, Peter again. But in conclusion, guys, what we basically want you to take away from this video is that what is an electromagnet? How it's basically used in everyday life, and to simply just show you how easy it is actually to just create an electromagnet. Like. Okay, so guys, if you are planning on making this at home, just always make safety one of your top priorities, and uh, hopefully it works out for you. And uh, best of luck.